Hello, hello. <coughs> well, thought we would get this old face ready for work. Yeah. I... I, I lost my train of thought there. That's what happens when you get old. <laughs> I am going to invite just a few because I tell you, it takes me too long to do the inviting and <clears throat> you know how that goes. So we'll just see who shows up. Anybody can watch the replay. It's perfectly okay with me. Mm -hmm. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we can do. See what kind of damage we can do. Hey, Deanna, my buddy. Hi, Judith. <sighs> Gonna get this old face ready for work. I've been off for like, let's see, four days or five days. I don't know, but I'm not ready to go back. That's, that's what happens, isn't it, when you go off? It's hard to go back. But the good news is, I only work tonight and then I'm off two more nights. We had some downtime at work, so <clears throat> uh, I had some PTO built up, and others, you know, they were shorter in their PTO, so I took time off, so much, much, much needed. Okay, so let's get this old face going. Thank you guys for coming to visit. This is Marsha Holland. I'm using a Slumgullion type of makeup, uh, all different kinds. Uh, I just really mainly wanted just to visit, though. Yeah. Just to visit. If anybody has any tips for me, man, man, man. Have you been seeing my vegan post? Because I am loving vegan. It is working out really well so far. I started on January the 8th. So, I'm doing good, right? I think so. We're just going to uh, cover up some stuff here. <laughs> I've already prepped my face, and I was having some trouble. I'm not so much now, but I was having some trouble. My face was getting so, I mean, it was itching. It was drying out. It was flaking. I mean, I, and of course, I was using so much stuff. I'm one of these that, oh, that looks good. Let's try it. <laughs> so I had no way of knowing what product it was or if it was a product I was using. So I just quit everything. And all I'm putting on my face now is, as far as cleansers and stuff like that goes, is I'm just using, um, oops, I am just using uh, coconut oil and olive oil. I'm using uh, olive oil before my makeup and coconut oil at bedtime. Hi, Rita. And it seems to be working. Everything's looking better. Um, so, that's what I'm doing. Just putting a little bit of highlighting stuff here before I put my uh, makeup on. Yeah. And you know you got to be careful when you get my age. Don't put a whole lot of stuff there because <clears throat> I have some well-earned fine lines and wrinkles here. So, it'll cake if you're not careful. I love using a sponge. I didn't, I'm not going to dampen my sponge this time, but if you dampen your sponge, it kind of makes your foundation a little thinner. So, excuse me, turn your head right now. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. Allergies, allergies, allergies. Mercy days. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to put some, I'm just going to use some liquid. Hi, Kelly. Hey, everybody. So nice to see you. Drinking my uh, shake. I had an awesome breakfast this morning with organic oats. And I put a, one date, one fig, one, uh, what else was, oh, one prune. I love prunes. And what else? I put a, some chia seeds. Those are all good, full of omegas. What else? I used rice milk. You know, rice milk is a lot thicker than almond milk. Normally I use almond or coconut milk, but I decided to try this rice milk. It's a whole lot thicker. It's good, but it's a whole lot thicker. Real creamy. Mm. Anywho, my breakfast, my toast. Oh my goodness. I'm good, girl. My toast mm -hmm. was a whole grain organic bread. 
and I fixed an avocado. What did I do? I put some vegan cream cheese in it. It's a little purple onion. What else? Oh, uh, Oh my gosh, you know, I was just in there dumping things in there. That's the way I do. Now I'm going to have to make it again and write it down. Man, was that good on my uh, toast. Yikes. Topped it with a tomato slice. Oh, yum, yum. I put a picture of it on my page. Okay, this is just a liquid. <clears throat> you know, I'm not selling any particular kind of makeup right now. I'm just kind of on hold. I'm looking, I think, but I'm just kind of taking a break. Just kind of taking a break. Let's get a little more. I don't know what kind of foundation I like. What kind of foundation do y'all like the best? Do y'all like cream? Do you like uh, liquid? What do you like the best? I'm just using this because I need to use it up. Um, actually, I tried... What was it? Shoot, have my old lady brain too. Uh, mineral. <laughs> Can't even think. Hey, boos. Hey, Katie. How are you doing, girl? Just asking people what kind of foundation do you like? What's your favorite? I don't know what my favorite is. I think I like the simplest, the better, you know? I kind of like cream. It goes on good. The mineral. I have some mineral that's really good. Make sure that is all covered. I bet I have a little kid tonight at work. Something tells me. It's in my bones. I'm going to have a kid. Hi, Iva. How are you, girl? Katie, have you been sick? What's going on? Okay. All right. Before I put my powder on now, I'm going to put a little bit of a uh, color corrector on. And I'm just, this is not bad, but it, I, I can see it and it bothers me. So this orange, the orange is good for shadows or dark circles, whatever you want to call it. It's not really a dark circle, but. I can see a difference when I use it. Can y'all see a difference? Woo, I'm with you there, girl, Katie. Again, I'm adding more in this little tender area here, so you gotta be careful. Can you even see the difference? Subtle, but I see it. All right, let's do this one. Man, man, we had some sleet yesterday, and now it's all over. Yeah, I can see the difference. I need to find just, just the plain orange all by itself, not in a palette-like thing, because I don't need that other stuff. All right, let me kind of smooth that out a little bit. I <clears throat> like using um, a buffer brush. You can also use your blender bud. I have some pretty deep crevices right here, so I like to make sure those are okay, okay. I am enjoying my vegan cooking. I've made uh, I've made my own Parmesan cheese. I made some hard cheese. Now, I only tried one recipe, and I will admit it doesn't taste like cheese, but it's good. It's good. I want to find a better one that's more like cheddar. I was a cheeseaholic before I became vegan, so cheeseaholic. Ugh. Allergies? I swear, I live with them 24-7. So sorry. <sighs> so sorry. Okay, now I'm going to use uh, powdered blush, so I'm going to put my powder on first. And... I'm going to use a whoop, high definition 
powder right here, translucent. I've got a couple different kinds. This one happens to be from Limelight. So, you know, if you like the dewy look, then you don't need to use powder. I don't really like the dewy look. I say I don't. I don't. Right now, I don't. <laughs> but I'm old. I can change my mind. Right now, I like to use a powder. Don't want it to look cakey, but I don't like shiny either. My eyebrows are getting better. My eyelashes are getting better since I've quit so much stuff. You know, the only way to find out what it was that was that's bothering me is to start one product back at a time. Now, I am going to use this subtle blush. I may add some more because I really like blush. I like rosy cheeks. I don't like... I don't see. That's not a good enough for me. That's not good enough. So, let's get some better blush. Let's use this nice rosy pink color. I have to be chipper and happy because I'm going to work and you know it's my morning and people come in and they're grumpy and it's sleepy time for them and we can't get them to bed right away so they get mad at us for not putting them to bed immediately but good night I got 40 45 minutes worth of work to do on a patient before I can get anybody to bed. Okay. So glad you came to see me. Yeah. You can share my video if you know anybody that's old. <laughs> share my video. That would be exciting. Have my vegan shake. Mm hmm. Listen, my um, breakfast was so filling, I haven't even had lunch, so I won't be eating again until tonight, probably about 12.30, 1 o'clock, probably. So, um, I'm having a shake just to hold me over till then. All right, let's do some brow action. Do some brow action. I am just rambling on. My brows are getting better. I'm so excited. I don't know what happened to them either. Whatever it was I did affected them and my lashes. So we're going to do a little action here. This is from uh, Thrive Cosmetics here. This uh, brow brush, uh, brow pen. I really like it too. Uh saw an ad on my Facebook page and... I needed some help for my brows since I was losing them all. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Rebecca. So, uh, I was out looking for something for my brows and found this. It was an ad on my Facebook, which I never trusted or ordered anything from fa on my Facebook page before. But I did. I took a chance, did this. Went to their website, checked them out, <clears throat> and took a chance, and <clears throat> I'm glad I did. It worked out really well. Come to find out, Thrive Cosmetics will, if you buy something, they donate something to uh, abused women or women that are that's suffering from cancer. Very good cause. So I was glad to see that. So I've got their, their brow pen and I got their mascara too. So I hate with a passion having to do this because my brows have always been uh, pretty thick and you know kind of did their own thing and it was okay. Now I have to paint everything and I don't like that. Uh, I'm thinking you know is it age or I think it had something to do with whatever was making my face itch and carry on like it was doing. I think it was affecting everything. So, listen, lots of things affect your age. I mean, your age affects lots of things. <laughs> See there? Can't even talk. But, this brow pencil here uh, actually is supposed to have some fibers in it. I don't really, I, I don't see any fibers, but doesn't mean they're not there. 
And I'm just doing little short strokes. Maybe if I keep getting better, I won't have to do it much longer. It's hard to talk when you're working on your eyes. And I can never get them alike, so never get them alike. Hey, everybody. You have any questions about what I'm doing? I'm so glad you came to visit and chat with me. Uh, the only company I'm with right now is Makeup Eraser, which if you don't have a makeup eraser, oh my gosh, you are missing out. I use my makeup eraser every morning. When I come home from work, I wash my face with just hot water. I like hot water. You could use warm water uh, and no chemicals. No chemicals and my makeup comes off like a dream. Uh, the makeup eraser is like $20, but it will last you for, what do they say, three to five years. It's machine washable, it's made out of polyester. You don't have to do anything special to it. I use one of the little mini ones right here at my makeup table and I just, you know, when I wanna halfway clean my brush, you know, I'll just swish a little across, swish a little bit. See, I can't get them exactly alike. So, I can always get one a little darker than the other. <laughs> if you're interested in makeup eraser or getting one of these cloths, they are magnificent. Um, I can put the link in comments. I would love to be able to pin my website like so many of these people do, but I have an Android and obviously you can't do that with an Android. Is that darker? Yeah. One of my brows is also higher than the other. If I was really clever, I could probably camouflage that. Okay. Now, that's all I'm going to do with that. I am going to set my brows a little bit with some uh, brow ink that I have. Uh, this also came from Makeup Eraser, but Makeup Eraser is not going to sell makeup or skincare anymore, so I don't think they're going to have this ink anymore. It's called Brow Ink. Uh, I'm kind of bummed about that, but there's all kinds of brow, whoops, brow help out there. I'm going to have to let that dry. I got kind of crazy with it. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, everybody. I'm going to go real careful, I think, with uh, things like uh, my um, blah, blah, concealers and stuff like that, uh, primers on the eyes and all that, because my eyes water all the time, and so it could be something I'm putting on it. But they say, you know, you need to use <clears throat> some primer on your eyes to help your shadows not seep into those fine lines and wrinkles. When you get my age, you got lots of little fine lines and wrinkles to worry with. I'm just going to go lightly with it. I'm not going to do a bunch. Hi, Vicki. Thank you guys for coming and visiting. If you know any old ladies, you can share my video and you have a good laugh. <laughs> This eye has far more, far more wrinkles and fine lines in it than this one. And I've said a hundred times, I do believe it's because I sleep on this side. So yeah, I think that's what does that. So now I'm going to set that with a finishing powder, translucent powder. This one comes from Wonder 2. Again, it was something I saw on my Facebook. Hi, Vicki. So I am just going to put some of that, you can see, it's just translucent. I'm just going to set my primer. We have to do so much stuff, don't we? Guys are so lucky. I guess we don't have to do it. Something else I'm going to do is 
I am going to put a little bit of this on my lashes. They say if you put some powder on your lashes, it's kind of like putting fibers on there, you know. You see? Okay. I'm going to get kind of crazy on my shadows. I'm going to use this Wild and Crazy palette from Lamb Light. Uh, Lamb Light. <laughs> Lime Light. Get that East Texas draw in there, woman. Lime Light. Okay, I am going to just use the yellow out of it. Let me find my stinking brush. Yellow and brown. I think that's so pretty. So I'm going to do the yellow. And, you know, since I've gotten my new phone, I have not had much trouble with, with um, mm -hmm. my Facebook Lives crashing and stuff. You know how, oh man, that was such a pain in the rear. I quit doing lives for a while because of that. This is a pretty yellow. You can make it bright. You can make it subtle. This is something else that Limelight does not sell anymore. And I don't use it very often because, man, look at these colors. They are wild. Wild and crazy. So I am going to have to go to work and I, I will be totally shocked if I don't have a pediatric patient tonight. So I don't want to scare them half to death. I will be totally shocked. All right. Now, I'm going to smooth it all out, too. Hi, Bixie. How are you, girl? I'm playing around. This is a Tartlet eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use the browns in that. I'm going to use these colors, I think, right here. Just kind of, or maybe those. I don't know. We'll see. It wasn't planned out very well. So, hi, Nicole. Okay, now I'm going to use a, kind of a, not really a fluffy brush, but an angled, pretty big brush, and I'm going to put this stuff on, and then I will mm -hmm. smooth it all out and blend it. This is going to give me some fallout, which luckily that's not really a problem with me. I just brush it off. So many girls, they do their makeup, uh, they do their eyes first, and then they do the foundation. I know I heard today that MAC teaches their uh, artist to do the eyes first. And the girl said she thinks the reason they do that is because MAC does have tons and tons and tons of wild and crazy colors like this that um, they think it's best for you to go ahead and do that first and then um, what am I saying? Then do your foundation and stuff. Okay, I'm going to use this darker brown in the crease and once I get everything on then I'll just start blending like nuts. So I'm going to put it on first and then I will blend I do have hooded eyes, so I always come up above the bone. Because I tell you, if you have hooded eyes, it doesn't do you too much good to put things in the crease. Because by the time you open your eyes, you ain't going to see nothing anyway. So come above on that bone if you have hooded eyes. Do you know if you have hooded eyes? Do you know how to tell if you have hooded eyes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, let me tell you, if you how you can tell if you have hooded eyes. Now, here's where I'm going to use my little makeup eraser just to kind of brush some of that yellow off because I'm fixing to use a very dark brown just to give a little bit of depth. It's actually kind of a purplish brown. So we're going to try it anyway. See how it goes with the yellow. Just going to do the V. 
And you know, I don't have a damp brush. If I dampened my brush, it would be much more bold. But I'm not dampening the brush because I don't really care if it's bold. Sometimes it's bold enough by itself, huh? You get all my colors on and then we'll blend. I hope everybody's having a great day. Thank you for coming to visit with me. All right, let's see what we're doing now. Clean my brush. Just gonna tap. I'm not going to actually, you know, uh, brush so much. Because when you're using powders, if you haven't wet your brush, you will very easily brush it away. So I'm just tapping. How do y'all like the yellow and brown? Is it good? I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna smooth out this part. We'll do a little eyeliner and do a little mascara. Lips. How about that? Is anybody still here with me, I hope? Okay, let's do... Um, 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 I'm just going to use a pencil. Uh... This is just a black pencil. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to use a white in the tear line. You do know that if you use a light color in the tear line, mm -hmm. it's supposed to open up your eyes. I'll do one eye and show you, man. There's a big difference. Looks kind of funny like that. Never fear. Just hang on and let me get a little bit of liner on close to my lashes. It's one of the things I like to do to make my lashes look thicker. Not going to do any wings. You can see already it's opening up my eye and making it look bigger I think all right now before I put underliner on I'm gonna put some kind of color underneath there maybe a brown let me see what I've got and get me another little nice brush we'll use the tartlet again we will use, yeah, we'll just use this brown right here. I'm going to put that underneath. Actually, I'm going to actually be touching my eyelashes on the bottom. Hi, Joy. Did you see Christina's uh, deal today when she did her makeup? <laughs> she did a great job. I'll show you what she did, if I can do it. I am not a pro like her. She used a little bit of concealer and cheated. She cheated. I like the way she said she cheated. You know, like how some girls use tape. Let's see if I can even do it, because I don't know if I can do it. She put a line of, oh wait, she didn't use this. She used a brush, didn't she? What am I doing? She used a flat brush. Let's see if I can even do it.
She just drew a line with her concealer to make that look like a nice little, like she'd use tape, you know? And then she just kind of smoothed it out. Kind of gives it that nice, like that. Yeah, I like that. Let's, since I've got this out, well, wait, I gotta do the other eye. I was doing one eye so you could see. Let me get my act together. All right, let me finish this one eye. And what I'm gonna do with it is, I am going to not go in the tear line, but go right on the lash line with this black. Uh, let me see. You can see the look at the difference. See how you can open up your eyes? Yeah. I'm always amazed at how much. Look at the difference. I'm going to go ahead and put the mascara on there. So you can really see. I won't make you watch me do both eyes. Yeah. This is that mascara. It's a uh, liquid fibers by that uh, Thrive Cosmetics. I was telling you about the same company I did the eyebrows with. I like it too. One little tip too that I learned is when you're doing your mascara, do your top lashes first. Hi, I'm so blind I can't see nothing. <laughs> What is the bright color palette? Oh, the bright color palette was the palette from a uh, limelight. Um, it's this one right here. They don't sell it anymore. Yeah, they don't sell it anymore. But it's bright. I like the yellow though. Uh, what I was saying, um, when you do your mascara, do your top lashes first and then go back and do your bottom lashes because they won't clump so bad because you don't want a ton of mascara on there when you're doing those bottom lashes. So, but this is from uh, Thrive Cosmetics. I felt good about ordering it because I bought two items. So I know that they gave two items to an abused woman or uh, a cancer uh, Suffering woman. So that made me feel good. And it was not overpriced. Okay. I won't make you watch me do the other eye, but let's get some lipstick on and then that will be all I'll make you do. What can we put on? Girls, I've got so much stuff, you would not believe it. Oh, this is something I got from Wonder. It's a lip scrub. It's a sugar scrub. Watch. Oops. It tastes good enough to eat. Don't want to eat it though. <laughs> so I'm just going to swishle that around while I decide what kind of lip color. That's a pretty lip color. Let's do that one. I don't remember to do this every day. That was by the same company that I got my, um, what is this? Same company I got my translucent powder from, that Wonder 2. 
think this is from, yeah, this is a Cybella product. It's from Melaleuca Lip Gloss. I'm going to try to make my lips look fatter tonight. There's little tricks you can do for that, too, you know. All right, guys. That's all I was going to show you. Thank you for coming. Hey, Ashley. I was just about to go, girl. You'll have to watch my replay. And do watch my replay. I did one eye. I'm not going to make you watch me do this eye. But you can see the big difference. Look at that. Big difference. Yeah, buddy. Okay, guys. I love you. Thank you for watching. Marsha Holland signing out. Bye. Love you.